Hey everybody, Weem here. Welcome back to Imperion. I've been crafting a number of things since you last saw me, trying to get this hovercraft going. Now I haven't built anything yet for it, I've just mostly been trying to organize things, and that's involved a lot of crafting. We brought back a lot of materials from the other ship, so I've been uh, making some ingots from the ores, and then just kind of making some of these basic materials, electronics, metal components. You can see we've got a good number of these. Some of these we brought back from the ship, others I've actually been kind of crafting out and jumping in here you can see we can make all kinds of stuff which is awesome but once we start going here and it starts using these materials we will run out so uh, let's see we got a number of things that we need to have for the hovercraft and we're gonna focus on those first now we already did the cockpit and it already has the hover engine so we're set there but we do need a generator and thanks to the color coding again we can now see that this is the generator for this hovercraft now I was experimenting actually in another save previously and and made this small one because I didn't quite understand in parentheses the the lettering initially when I was first doing it I was like let me experiment with this real quick and it wasn't working for it and I realized later oh, okay this doesn't work for it we need this generator so we're gonna go ahead and queue that up you can see that's gonna take a little while and uh, craft time there says 70 seconds but once that is done what else do we need here well we have a lot of optional things that can go into it. Um, we can add onto it, uh, but for example, we can put the oxygen tank on there, which I feel like might be required, but then you have an oxygen station, which allows you to kind of draw oxygen from it. So without this, we can't refill our oxygen, although I think with this guy, you can when you're in the ship. I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> this is all new to me, and I haven't really watched any other videos or read too much into the game. I kind of wanted to just play and figure things out as we go. So anyway, we may end up making one of these, but I might save this for the end and see if we can use the hover ship without it. Granted, it really doesn't take much. Three metal components and a control device? Come on, Wayne. Stop being lazy. But uh, we do need that. We do need the fuel tanks, this, uh, this one being the correct one for our hover ship. So that's another thing that we're going to need. Let's see. Fridge, not required. <laughs> we do need a thruster. We do need the directional uh, thrusters as well. We also need the RCS to give us that control. Um, what I don't need, what I don't know is if you need four of these or if you just need three of these for left, right, and then one up front to basically push yourself backwards. And then the thruster in the back to propel you forward. I don't really know. We might just make the three and then do this one as the fourth just to kind of see how it goes I'm not entirely sure just yet but we still have this generator chugging along trying to get made here we could probably queue some stuff up but let's let's just take a look here really quick does need 10 metal components we have 17 so that's cool we'll have seven left over that would be enough for the RCS we're gonna use three electronics tons left over uh, computers we have two it needs one. What does this need? Just needs one control device. So we could probably queue this up. This might actually be able to be made afterwards. And this actually is slowed, I'm realizing now, because probably because we're out of power. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Weem. So I have stored these over here off to the side. And we'll just throw some of these in. We'll, we'll throw four in there. We've got quite a few of these. And they're very easy to make. <clears throat> Excuse me. We can actually go, you can see the Prometheum deposit up there. That's where we get the material in order to make more of those guys from the pellets. Okay, I just finished constructing five whole blocks. Among other things you can see in the hotbar over there, we've got the generator, we have the RCS, three directional thrusters, and then we have the blocks that I didn't get off of here. <laughs> Let's grab those really quick. Five of those guys. So we're gonna use these to kind of build off of. I'm gonna go straight off the back here. Uh, two, three, I got five intentionally. because so I thought I would just do a little kind of cross back here, that'll work. Now we'll get the directional guys out here. So we've got, um, let's put the one up front. We'll kind of spin things around here. Let's see. Oh, there we go, had it. So there we go, there's the front facing to kind of push us backwards. And then we just need to do that. One for the right. I'm never good at remembering how these turn. Let's actually, let's see. Let's look at it this way. There we go. So we have the left, the right, and then the front for reverse. We don't have the main thruster, which I think is gonna be good enough. 
That might, I don't know, might not be enough. We may, the directional may actually let us go forward with the thrust allowing it, everything to kind of power forward. I'm not really sure. I haven't experimented with that at, at all. But let's go ahead and do the rest of this. We do have a generator. I was thinking about sticking this just like that, so that works out. We'll just stack it right, get on there. Cool. Then we need the RCS. I think we'll just put it right behind it. Okay, cool. Now we've got some other things to make here, of course, but this thing is slowly coming along. It is not going to be the best looking craft. <laughs> That's for sure. It's going to be a little bit ugly, but the point is hopefully that it just it gets the job done. It gets us where we need to get going quickly so we don't have to kind of run between these places. So let's see, we can do the oxygen tank right now, um, but I'm going to wait on that. I do want to make a light as well so we can kind of see out the front at night. But let's jump down here because the fuel tank is going to be more important. Fortunately, we can do that right now. So we can queue that up. And let's look at the thruster because we may need to do this. Um, it will take two motors. And we're going to end up needing motors anyway. So we're just going to go ahead and queue uh, some of those up. Four components, six cables. We have four components. Plenty of cables. Uh, let's see. And then electronics. Yep, we've got enough of that. Enough to do the two motors, so that's good. Get those things queued up. Um, let's see here. Obviously, we just mowed through some things. Um, so we're going to have to replace some things. We need more electronics, components, pipes anyway. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to queue enough of that up to make the uh, thruster so that we've got that. And then we will... Actually, let's go ahead and drop the engine on here. We're gonna, that thing's going to be going for just a little bit. Uh, let's. What we'll do is we'll, I think I'm going to put this off the back because I like things to be symmetrical rather than put it on the side anywhere. And I may just do another block back here to kind of give that some support. I think that's probably a good way to go. Okay, I thought there was one other thing I was going to do, and then I realized it was the oxygen tank. So we're going to actually hold off on that to see if this works without it. Um, so let's see. What I need to do is to grab power. I'll just take uh, half of those. Not that I even need that many. I'll put a few in here. So that's lit up. Let's jump in here. Powered on. Oh, oh, left, right. It is going forward, but very, very slowly. Backward has no problem. So we definitely need to get the... Um... Well, we needed something in there, Weem. Jeez, what were you thinking? <laughs> I have nothing to take us forward. I'm not exactly sure what I was thinking there. <laughs> I just actually just wanted to make sure if it worked without the oxygen tank. So we're going to let that chill over there. And we need to make, let's see, a directional... Or do we want to just do the thruster? I think that was the idea, was to try just the thruster and see if that was going to be enough to do that so <laughs> let me make the materials needed for that you're always forgetting something Weem. okay that's not a good sign it's um it's driving away <laughs> tried to bring it over i was like i know i'll drive it backwards uh okay it looks like it came to a stop probably because it collided with something <laughs> oh man okay well that's a thing tried to make things easy on myself it was already stopped Oh, you know what? Let me try to bring it over here. Jeez, William. Okay. So anyway, we're close. We just need to... Uh, let's see. There we go. Cue that guy up. Looks like it's not going to take that long. Oh, no. Is he still going? No, it's just that we ran over here. <laughs> Boy. Man, I can never win here. Alrighty, let's check this out. Uh, halfway. Yeah. Cool. Can't wait to make the large constructor make some things out of there. I'm pretty sure this is what's needed in order to make the other ships. Right now we can only make the ground base and the base base. <laughs> and uh, these guys I think come when you have the constructor. And I'm assuming only the large one. I think that here on our escape pod we have a small one. We certainly can't make it from it. Can't make those from it. So anyway... What to make do here. So let's see, where did that go? We've got the thruster now. Let's go ahead and stick that there. And head out and plug this thing on there. Okay, has it stopped? Yeah, I think it was moving a little bit more on my way over here, but <laughs> there we go. It ran into rock. Fortunately, it doesn't look like anything's uh, majorly damaged or anything. Um, hmm. The rock is in the way, though. Unfortunately. Oh, we can still do it. So let's do that. Hop into this guy. There we go. 
We are on the move. Let's bring this back over here and see if we can stop. <laughs> so that's it. We should have our hovercraft at this point. Uh, yeah, looks like we can bring this to a stop. Excellent. Hop out of here. Actually, you know what? Let's just jump in here really quick. Kill power. How about that? There we go. Cool. So we've got our little vehicle to uh, cart us around, which is going to be awesome when it comes to gathering materials because running around on the planet is very slow. Even a little hop from the jetpack, it takes a while to get around. So we can do some exploring, get some more materials, things like that. We are now, we're mobile people. Alrighty, I jumped in here and made a light because it is nighttime and we do need to go on a little bit of a journey. Not that far though. <laughs> I'm just gonna stick this right on the front. I think that'll work. Jump in here, turn on the power. There we go, look at that spotlight. So what is this journey Weem speaks of? So we need water. Water is a thing. So we've got our uh, thing down here, <laughs> whatever it's called. The oxygen generator, I believe it is. So we're just gonna cruise on here. See how fast that is? I would've had to kind of jog over here before. And I probably should get in the habit of like turning the power off. It'd be nice if you could have a setting on there to just have it turn off when you jumped out. But anyway, we need oxygen. We are out. You can see we're low, but we're out back at the ship as well. There you go. 17 tanks. Awesome. I'm going to just throw one more power in there. Make sure this uh, keeps going. Definitely want to make more of those. So I, I was thinking about it and I thought, you know what? We do need to put the oxygen tank on here and then put the um, station on the outside so we can kind of get some air it's definitely going to be important for longer journeys we don't want to have to be coming back for air even though it is um, pretty fast this thing takes a bit to turn <laughs> so much quicker than walking am i right so let's see we're going to just jump out here really quick actually let's do this kill the power and now we have our oxygen so i walked over here to the tank it would not refill me as i stood here and that's because we are out. So let's get this queued up. Two of those guys in there. Excellent. Now we can breathe the air. We're a little bit hungry, but that's okay. We do want to make the food processor. Probably do that with the base, though. So we're going to hold off. Um, let's see. Now, what do we need? Oxygen tank, we need three metal components. Well, that's easy. We have two right now, and this makes two. So let's do that. Yeah, actually, that's all we need. <laughs> Just give that a second. Cue that up. This guy needs five metal components. Um, so basically three more. That'll work. And then cue that up. It'll be able to make it once those are made. So there we go. We're going to have oxygen going on this thing. I think that's just going to be the best way to go. And then this thing will be, I guess we'll call it officially done. We'll officially have our hovercraft complete. Oh, it's a monstrosity. Look how huge the station is. <laughs> we did have it on one side. I suppose I could have made two and put one on each side, but that's okay. We're going to leave it this way. I don't think it's going to weigh it uh, too heavily. I don't know if those kind of physics are in. But let's go ahead and check this out. We do have to put oxygen in here, right? Kind of makes sense. So we do have two in there. We do have power going. I think we're going to have to actually turn this on, though. Let's jump in here, power it on. Hop out. Nothing? No? Nothing going on there? <laughs> are we full enough? I'm not really sure. Boy, that thing is huge. Now, we may actually have to have that connected to it. I wonder if that's part of the problem. What a bummer that would be, because I can't take this off as far as I know. Actually, there is a repair tool you're said to be able to make now. Let's check this out. And maybe that's what, I think it said that that's how you, yeah, remove components. Cool, so we just need four metal components. We've got two already. So we just need to make two more. And this spits out two. We're gonna try this. I've actually never tried this before. I wanna see if we can pull that off. Remove and repair. Now let's just double check here. I think I had a, yeah, they start you with a filler and flatten tool and then the drill, but they don't start you with this guy. So we're gonna cue that up. So yeah, previously I had made chips and wanted to take stuff out or made a the hover ship I was kind of experimenting with that didn't really get finished. <laughs> and I was trying to pull stuff off. I'm like, oh, let me try this, but the drill didn't seem to do anything. So uh, anyway, maybe this will now allow us to do just that. That would be awesome. There you go. 
Okay, no idea how this works. Let's just try things. But first of all, we're going to take the um, oxygen out of here. Just in case. Okay, ready? Fire. No, no. Right click, no. It says I have no ammo now. <laughs> I guess it looked like it said one and then none. Uh, do we have some of that here? I think I threw some of that somewhere. Drill. A little flatten. Nope. Oh, Weem, learning on the go. Look at that. We need fuel packs for this. So we've got some of those. It does take one. Ten metal pieces, which looks like I have. So we'll do one of these guys. I don't know if it's one-to-one -one with these. Uh, probably not, since this output count three. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think it's one to one. So anyway, it'll be interesting to see how many we get here when this is done. I'm just gonna throw this over there. Let's see if we need to reload this thing or what. It's making a sound. There it goes, 150. Alright, let's give this a whirl. Ah. Okay. <laughs> let's see. Please tell me we picked that up. Oh no. I don't see it anywhere. How unfortunate. Well, that was with the left click. They do have, with the other tools, have different abilities. So I'm going to actually right click on this guy. See if we pick this up. If we don't, I'm going to remake them. Right click doesn't seem to do anything. <laughs> so the remove really removes it. Permanently removes it. Well, that's good to know. So I'm going to go ahead and remake that. I mean, we kind of probably need to do that anyway. And then stick it to where it touches that. And see if that solves our oxygen issue. Okay, well, it turns out it wasn't a loss. I was actually looking at my inventory, and you guys may have noticed I had some components in here that I just kind of glazed over because I was looking for the oxygen tank itself. But it was uh, three something. I forgot what it was. Three <laughs> metal components, maybe, and then one, I think, electronic. And uh, when I looked, that was exactly what was needed to make these guys. So it looks like it gives you your material back. Um, everything. Like, it didn't look like I lost anything. So... Let's go ahead and stick this here. That'll mean it's now connected, at least touching this guy. So hopefully that'll do the trick. We gotta put the oxygen in there. Uh, ship is on, right? It's got the light on. And we'll try this. Is that not doing it for me? Doesn't seem to be doing it for me, unfortunately. Okay, well I'm probably missing something. I'm just missing something simple, I'm sure. But anyway, that's fine. We can at least do some exploring with this and um, just make sure that we're kind of full up on oxygen before we leave. Well, just before I needed to call it an episode, I got it figured out. I thought, you know what? This uh, escape pod actually has two of those oxygen tanks. <laughs> Raise your hand if you were saying that while watching it earlier. <laughs> so I went ahead and made a second one, plugged this guy in back there, and sure enough, I walked up to it. And as you can see, your oxygen is refilling. So. Perfect. We are really ready to go now. Obviously, it looks a little wonky, all uh, <laughs> heavily weighted on one side, but that's cool. We have the hover ship done. So I do hope you guys stay tuned next time as we take this thing around, gathering up uh, not just minerals and everything, but I do want to gather up some plants and everything, check out some of the creatures roaming around, maybe go kill some of those large drones over there. I think that would be kind of cool. So we have lots to do. Plus we need to prep for the base building and maybe while we're out, find a good place to locate that. So anyway, like I said, I hope you guys come back for the next episode and thanks for watching this one i appreciate it please do consider leaving a like as usual if you enjoyed this video leave a comment let me know what you think what you think i should do what planet do you think i should go to for those of you who know there's like a lava planet kind of an ice planet i think there's like a moon planet i think that's pretty much it for now but anyway let me know anything you guys think about the game or what i should be doing things of that nature i definitely appreciate it and i will catch you guys next time